Les from Thailand there and today's video is going to be about insurance, health insurance and how much it's going to cost and where you can get it from at a reasonable rate. Many people I've spoken to in Thailand have got no insurance at all. In fact I did a couple of lectures at the expats club in Pattaya a few years ago and they did a survey and 70% of the expats club members didn't have insurance at all. So that's an awful lot of people without insurance. Now insurance, I've, I've lived in Thailand now for nearly 10 years and I've been insured for nine years of them 10 years and it's up for renewal next month. So I've been shopping around and doing some cost analysis on far as insurance is concerned. And a lot of people have said to me, oh, since it's expensive, it's expensive. But actually it isn't really that expensive. So I've got some examples here of the insurance and the costs um, that it's going to cost. Now th these costs are based on a person with no underlying health issues. So like for me when I took my insurance out, I was 52 years old, I didn't have any underlying health issues. So really my insurance has been with the same company for nine years. So they've had a good run of money from me without having to deal with any issues. But this year I'm changing it to a different insurance company. and. So because I'm changing, they're asking for my medical uh, history and I suffered at the age of 53 with rheumatoid arthritis. So they won't cover me for anything to do with rheumatoid arthritis. So I understand that but it's a better insurance deal than my previous insurer. So that's why I'm changing. Now, the insurance company I'm going to explain about, I've got no links with them. I'm getting no benefits from them. I'm not getting any kickback from them, so it's my opinion. I've actually bought the insurance so I can speak from my example as to how much it's going to cost. But to get some discount from this insurance, so join the expats club in Patty and you get a discount on this insurance. And I'll leave a, a link below to the email address and the person that you need to speak to with regard to joining the expats club and getting a discount for these insurances. Now the insurance, um, been quoted from Cigna Insurance and Pacific Cross and AXA Insurance and then Go Compare Insurance which was wow the Go Compare Insurance was so so expensive I just threw that in the bin it's not even worth mentioning but the insurance details I'm going to give you here are anywhere from 700,000 baht up to 3 million baht now let me go through the reasons why some people would say 700,000 baht isn't good enough cover. A lot of the people that I've spoken to with regard to insurance, they won't take insurance out because they think it's so dear. And they say that they've got insurance back in the UK or America or Europe. So their game plan is if they get sick, they're gonna go back to Europe, England or America and go and get medical treatment. But my question is to those people who say that, what if you're sick? too sick to go straight away on an airplane back to your home country so therefore you may not have the option to get medical treatment straight away to put you into a situation where you can go back to your own country so the insurance quotes that I'm going to give here are for that eventuality this is what I rely upon I get free medical treatment back in the UK is have enough money to cover the initial cost of finding any diagnosis or like a quick fix from the hospital enough to get me on an airplane get me back to England but we're going to come back to that because I'll give you some prices on insurance now not everybody's on a budget here and there's lots of people over here that can afford um, the medical care but I'm going to put some pictures up on here so you can look at the figures that I'm going through on this paperwork here so the top insurance package for now I'm 60 60 years old so I'll, I'll base the the cover on a 60 year old even though I took my insurance out when I was 52 and I advise everybody to take the insurance out as young as you can before you get the ailment and then you're going to get the best insurance deal. Insurance over here in Thailand I think is very very important and I think and believe that everybody should have insurance. Um, okay the, the most expensive package is a 3 million baht cover so anything that goes wrong with you, you're covered up to 3 million baht. And the, the cost for that, for 3 million baht, I think it, it's quite reasonable at 56,000 baht a year. 
So 56,000 baht a year gives you 3 million baht worth of cover from anybody from 18 to 60 years old. If you're wanting the outpatient cover as well, then that goes up to 83,000 baht, or 83,510. So let me give you some figures. Let's say the 2 million baht cover, that that's what people are after. You can see by the figures, if you want to have a look at the figures in detail, just pause the video and then have a look at the, the figures in more detail. But let's say for the 18 to 60 year olds, and you have a 2 million baht worth of coverage, this is this year 2021, the premium is 41,626 baht, which putting that into pounds is 937 pounds, in euros 1,092, and in US dollars 1,331. That's for the cover of 2 million baht per year. And that's the inpatient only, not outpatient cover. You also see on the details as well that this covers you up to an age of 90 years old. But once you get past 90 year old, then it's on a yearly basis. But let's face it, I think it's going to be very, very expensive once you get to 90 year old. But let's look at the cover for the 66 to 70 year old for the same cover as 2 million baht. 2 million baht worth of cover is 61,636, which actually is only 20,000, half the price again, from an 18 to 6 year old. So it's not prohibitively expensive, but that's bearing in mind that you've got no health issues. If you have any health issues, then that's going to affect the, the coverage as well. But basically, this is going on, take your insurance out before you start getting sick. So if you're still pretty healthy at 66 to 70 year old for 2 million baht's worth of cover, it's 61,636 baht. So I'll put that in, in pounds, euros and dollars. That's pounds, 1,388 pounds a year. 1,617 euros a year or 1,972 dollars a year. That's if you're a fairly healthy 66 to 70 year old. So it's not prohibitively expensive as long as you're healthy. Take out that insurance before you start getting sick. That's my biggest advice to you. Take out the insurance while you're young. So let's go to the other scale now, the, the cheap insurance. Now again, I'll, I'll, I'll put some photographs up and th this is the covers on this for 700,000, 1 million and 1.5 million. And again, on the same age groups, 18 to 60, 61 to 65 and 66 to 70 years old. So, like I said, I took my premiums out when I was 52 year old and I've kept the same company, AXA, was with I was with before. But Pacific Cross at the minute are doing a better deal and more insurance cover than what I was on before with AXA. So I'm swapping over now to Pacific Cross Insurance. So I filled all the paperwork in, I'm just waiting for the documentation to come through. And I've already been told that they're not going to be covering my rheumatoid arthritis, which it's understandable, it's a pre-existing condition, so I'm not really bothered about that. So, I'm basing my figures on a 700,000 baht cover. Now, there are many people who, who argue with the fact that the government are asking for 800,000 baht in your bank account for visa purposes, and a lot of people said that's what they're going to rely on if they're going to go into hospital. So for 800,000 baht, you're going to be having it tied up in the bank all the time. So for me, age 60 years old, the cost for me for 700,000 baht's worth of insurance is 20,550. Now I'd soon to pay 20,550 baht a year and have up to 700,000 baht's worth of insurance cover than having 800,000 baht tied up in a Thai bank account all the time. But I understand those people who, who do it that way. But for a, up to a 60 year old, from 18 to 60 year old, that's all it is, it's 20,550 baht. But to put that into pounds, euros and dollars, it's 462 pounds a year, 539 euros and 657 dollars. Again, have a look at the paperwork that I'm, that I'm on, freeze the video, have a look and then go through the documentation and see what you want. I've left links below for you to contact and get further information if you want. So 
it's not prohibitively expensive, 20,000, just over 20,000 baht a year. So next year, I go the next category up from the 61 to 65 year olds, 24,885 if you took it out this year. And put, again, putting that into pounds, euros and dollars, that's 560 pounds a year, 652 euros and 796 dollars for insurance up to 700,000 baht. Then going to the 66 to 70 year old, that is 30,022 baht, bearing in mind that if you're fairly healthy, this is what it's going to cost you. So that's 676 pounds, 797 euros and 960 US dollars. So as you can see, I don't think the insurance is really that expensive, although the amount of people, the talking points of insurance is very, very expensive. I think it's reasonably priced if your health is okay. But if you've got underlying health conditions, then it may be far too expensive, I understand that. But that's just a, a quick video with regard to medical insurance and health insurance here in Thailand. So at the minute COVID is everywhere in Thailand, so you get COVID insurance for up to a million baht worth of cover for less than 1,000 baht. So I can't understand those people that won't get the COVID insurance for a million baht worth of cover for less than a thousand baht. I paid 850 baht for a million baht worth of cover. There are many places offering COVID insurance um, within Thailand, so take your pick really. There's plenty, plenty of people out there in the market selling COVID insurance. So if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, please leave a comment below. If I can help you anyway, I'll leave my email address below and you'll be able to contact me and ask any questions you want. I'll leave links below for the expats club. I'll leave links below also for the insurance company that you can deal with via the expats club and you can get your discount. So if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.